at first semester with you students i welcome you all into my another video hope you are all doing well so in this video i will discuss another super important question that is show that the given pairs of polar curves can intersect orthogonally rn is equal to an cos of n theta rn is equal to bn sin of n theta these are two curves okay again it is a eight marks question so i can write down here it is eight marks question as far as vt examinations are concerned so it is eight marks question now let me solve it so differentiate so procedure is same for this particular question also which we did in the last problem so differentiate with respect to theta here also you have to differentiate with respect to theta right so i can write down here uh, differentiation of rn is n r is for n minus 1 so you should be knowing the basics of uh, differentiation actually the formula for differentiation is x raised for n it is n x power down n x raised for n minus 1 this is the general formula of differentiation right so instead of x we have here r rest of the formula will be same so power down n minus 1 so n r raised for n minus 1 is the differentiation for r raised for n and internal differentiation of this r with respect to theta is dr upon d theta okay which is equal to a raised for n is constant so differentiation of cos of n theta is nothing but minus sine of n theta and internal differentiation of this n theta theta differentiation with respect to theta is 1 so n is the constant so internal differentiation of n theta will be n into 1 that is n i hope you are getting my point next one we have uh, rn is equal to bn sine of n theta so nr is for n minus 1 dr upon d theta is the differentiation for this one and bn what is the uh, differentiation of sine of n theta that is nothing but cos of n theta and internal differentiation of n theta will be n over here right now i can write down here nr is for n minus 1 dr d theta i will take this n out so n into a power n this is again minus sine of n theta so minus i will take out here so a n sine of n theta here i can write down n r n minus 1 dr d theta is equal to n i will take out n b n cos of n theta so this n and this n will get cancelled out and this n and this n will get cancelled out okay hope you are getting my point now as r raised power n into r raised power minus 1 so bases are same powers are added same you will get r raised power n minus 1 i have just break it into two terms that is r raised power n r raised power minus 1 right dr upon d theta which is equal to a n sine of n theta here also i can write down same r raised power n into r raised power minus 1 bases are same powers are added so n minus 1 you will again get this term dr upon d theta which is equal to b raised power n cos of n theta now i can write down r raised power n this r raised power minus 1 if i just take to the denominator i will get simply r okay so d theta upon sorry dr upon d theta is equal to a raised power n sine of n theta again here i can write down r raised power n uh, take this term to the denominator that is r simply r raised power 1 that is nothing but r dr upon d theta which is equal to b n cos of n theta okay hope uh, you are following my points now in the next step i will take this r raised power n to the right hand side here uh, we are left so here we are left with 1 divided by r dr upon d theta which is equal to a power n sine of n theta divided by this r raised power n here also i can do the same 1 by r dr upon d theta which is equal to b n cos of n theta divided by r raised power n now in the problem itself uh, it is given that is r n is equal to a n cos of theta here r n is equal to b n sine of theta i can put down the values now so 1 upon r dr upon d theta which is equal to a n sine of n theta what is the r n value a n cos of n theta so a n cos of n theta so here we have 1 by r dr upon d theta which is equal to b n cos of n theta divided by r is for n it is nothing but b n sine of theta sorry b n sine of n theta b n sine of n theta okay now see here a n and a n will get cancelled out and here b n and b n will get cancelled out we are left with 1 by r dr upon d theta which is equal to sin n theta by cos n theta is nothing but tan of n theta again in this problem we are not taking the negative value see here it was negative a n sin of n theta so it is minus here minus 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 and minus in the previous video also i have missed this negative sign i don't know what is wrong with me 
uh, with this minus sign over here. So here we are having one by r dr upon d theta, which is equal to cos n theta by sine n theta is nothing but cot of n theta. Okay. Now you know already one by r dr by d theta it is nothing but cot of phi. So I can call it as cot of phi one just because we have first equation here. I can write down minus tan of n theta and next one we have here cot of phi 2 I can write down for the second equation cot of n theta. I can write down this minus tan n theta as cot of phi 1 is equal to cot of 90 plus theta plus theta means we have theta here n theta. So n theta cot of phi 2 is equal to cot of n theta cot and cot will get cancelled out cot and cot will get cancelled out. So phi 1 is equal to pi by 2 plus n theta here we have phi 2 is equal to n theta okay so now we have to check uh, that the given pairs of polar curves can intersect orthogonally so we have the condition that is mod of phi 2 minus phi 1 we have to check if it is coming pi by 2 then we can say that we can say that the given pair of curves uh, can intersect orthogonally we have phi 2 value here and theta mod of n theta minus phi 1 value is here pi by 2 plus n theta okay so we have to check is it coming pi by 2 or not so n theta and theta will get cancelled out we are left with mod of minus pi by 2 once there is a mod so mod of negative is always positive so you will get uh, instead of minus pi by 2 you will get positive pi by 2 so we are getting pi 2 minus pi 1 is equal to pi by 2 now we can see that the given pair of curves that is rn is equal to an cos of n theta rn is equal to bn sin of n theta can intersect orthogonally okay so this is all about the solution of this particular question I, so i hope you have understood it very well so make sure you will share this video to all your friends and batchmates thank you